This is a Dremel with the chainsaw attachment. It's fantastic. I'm getting a much sharper and more consistent edge on both of my chainsaws. As one review suggested, you might as well throw away the rat tail files and I totally concur with that. Up until getting the Dremel, I've been using the Timberline saw sharpener and it's been fine. It does give the saw a good sharp edge, though I found it very inconsistent. Perhaps that's just my inexpert, my level of competence with it. Though, to be honest, it's always been a real faff to set it up. I've also found that one side of one set of teeth on the one side get sharpened more aggressively than the other side. So although it does give a sharpen, the Dremel is just way better, much easier to use and much more consistent. Definitely due to my inexpertise Though, as I say, it can be a bit of a faff to set it up and use. I tended to find that the carbides wore out quite quickly or chipped and became not quite as effective as brand new. And the carbides are quite expensive. The Dremel comes with ceramic sharpening bits. And I'm not a fan of these. They can quickly become under gauge. I'll take a photo of this one just to show you exactly what I mean. I quickly upgraded to diamond sharpening bits. You can buy them for less than £6, around €8 Euros on Amazon, and they're fabulous. I doubt if I'll, they, for, for a pack of 12, I doubt if I'll ever have to buy any more, even though I do intend to do quite a bit of chainsawing in the future. I researched these bench grinder sharpeners and I'd say if you're sharpening quite a few chains a day doing it as a business then it's worth further consideration. For me personally you have to take the chain off the saw in order to sharpen them. Also they all come with ceramic sharpening discs which as I've shown you tend to wear and become under gauge quite quickly. You can upgrade them to diamond sharpening discs for a price. So for me personally, and to be honest, even if you're sharpening chainsaws, chains, so chainsaw chains as a business, I'd still go for the Dremel. Cheaper options. Uh, this was around 40 pounds. 50 euro on Amazon. One thing to bear in mind was it was advertised as having a 12 volt lithium ion battery and well, that might well be the case. However, it states on the back 3.7 volts. Um, so that's probably the motor. So even if it's got a more per powerful battery, it doesn't have a 12 volt motor, so to speak. So you're only going to get 3.7 volts. Nonetheless, it works. It's fine. The attachment isn't interchangeable. You can't put this attachment on the Dremel. In comparison, the Dremel is a quality tool. It exudes quality. A soft start. It also has a 
removable battery and that might be quite important to you if you're out in the field bring two or three batteries with you another thing about the Dremel is it's very likely in the future I'll use this for other wood carving and general activities so yeah I really like the Dremel nice soft start really adjustable a very high quality nice tool to have though it is expensive Perhaps if you're looking for a more budget friendly Dremel, then just go for the 3.6 volt rather than this 12 volt. And I'd say in terms of sharpening drills, then sharpening chainsaws, then the 3.6 volt Dremel will be fine. Though it doesn't have a brushless motor, which this one does, and that's also a big factor for me. It can be very damp here in rural Ireland. And what I've found since being here is that brushed motors degrade much more quickly than they did in the drier east of Scotland where I came from. Always handy to have a vice, though it's not essential. I tend to dial down the speed to its lowest setting and I found placing the cutter in at a right angle to the bar and then moving it to the 30 degrees This chain sharp, so I'm not going to go around them all, but you get the gist of it there. And probably I'm doing about five or six strokes, but I'm not putting a lot of pressure on, and I'm not grinding the teeth, filing them down any faster than with the timber line, in fact quite the opposite. As I say I find, find the timber line to be quite aggressive in terms of filing them down. So there you go, you have the gist of that. I watched one video where the person was just using the cutter, a diamond cutter, diamond sharpener without the actual guide and I tried that and I would caution against it what I found was uh, the chain started cutting at an angle so if you anybody who's had a reasonable amount of experience with a chain cutting with a chainsaw if it starts cutting squint through the log then it jams up quite quickly and puts a strain on the motor so my strong advice is you don't use the sharpener without the guide and the depth gauge. So definitely swap out the bit for a diamond sharpening bit and absolutely use the attachment that comes with it. And it comes with plates depending on which size of chain you're using and cutter you're using you might need to put in spacer plates and this just screws on here and then it has this gauge here and the way this works is you put it onto that's right like that so you can gauge where you need to adjust the screws to get them to sit properly. And I'd say this bit can be a bit fiddly, but once you're set up with it, then let's set it and leave it, so to speak. Perfect. 
okay so the cheap version works as I say I was a bit disappointed when it was uh, 3.7 volts instead of 12 volts but it does work it's a lot cheaper it comes with a gauge as well for setting the depth at the back and it's not particularly well engineered at to file out this one so that it would seat in but yeah generally I can't really say anything that I would want to say to put you off buying this I haven't used it a lot it's worked so far I would say that the Dremel is going to work indefinitely it's a really high quality tool so definitely in favour of the Dremel I've been cutting up a fair amount of logs fingers crossed I get the opportunity to get about the same again I'd say from now on firewood fuel sustainable renewable logs are going to be my primary source of heating for my home I sharpened both saws before I started they're both still sharp that was effortless and as you can see lots of snowflake chips just absolutely knife through butter stuff just fantastic couldn't recommend the Dremel highly enough though as I say change out the ceramic bit for a diamond bit storing the logs in the polytunnel is way better than leaving them outside in the cold and wet here in Ireland I'd say on a sunny day the temperature in the polytunnel can be as much as 20 degrees higher hotter than outside however I've been planning a kiln drying log store for over two years now and during the past few weeks I've made a start by demolishing the plinth for the old oil tank I used to have oil fired central heating so future content in this playlist will show updates on how I'm getting on with building the kiln drying log store thanks Emil for watching good luck